Hello, I'm Dr. Richard Call with NJSR and today we're going to demonstrate a radio frequency ablation of the dorsal root ganglia. Sounds like a long name. It's a name for a procedure that we use to help people who've sustained injuries to nerves or have uh, got inflammatory process, processes happening in the nerves which can lead to leg pain. And to demonstrate the procedure, what I'd like to do is to use this plastic model of the spine to show some of the anatomical elements and some of the technical details of the procedure. And just to orient you, uh, this is uh, a plastic model of the human spine. This is the front of the spine. This is the back of the spine. These white structures represent the intervertebral or the bony elements and these slightly grey structures represent the intervertebral discs. And on this model, you can see that we have these yellow plastic structures coming out of what we call the neuroforamen. These represent the nerves, the exiting nerve roots, which supply uh, sensory and motor function to the legs. And it's the damage or the pinching of these nerves that leads to the symptoms that patients can experience. And what we're going to do today is we're going to take a specialized needle called a radiofrequency needle and under x-ray guidance we're going to place the needle just into the neuroforaminal space. We're going to heat the tip of the needle and by doing so this causes a destruction of some of the pain carrying fibers which leads to an improvement in patient symptoms. This procedure is carried out with fluoroscopic guidance which makes the procedure a lot safer and leads to a, a greater rate of effectiveness than if not carried out with that. Thank you. The procedure has commenced uh, with the identification of the correct intervertebral level. The needle is placed over the T12 vertebrae, picture, T12, and we count down L1, L2, L3, L4, L5. This is the L5-S1 lumbar intervertebral space. The intervertebral plates are then squared off by rotating the C-arm in a craniochordal fashion. Stop. Picture. The needle is lying over the L5-S1 intervertebral space. The x-ray technician is then asked to rotate the C-arm into an oblique view. To approximately 20 to 25 degrees. 25 degrees. Picture. The needle tip can be seen overlying the neuroforaminal space and then under fluoroscopic guidance the needle is inserted through the skin and using x-ray guidance the needle is advanced under fluoroscopic control into the neuroforaminal space. Lateral please. The C-arm is rotated into a lateral view which will allow positioning of the needle in the neuroforaminal space. Picture. The lateral view allows placement of the needle within the neuroforaminal space. A stimulating probe is advanced through the needle and is connected to the electrical generating device. Both motor and sensory testing will occur to evaluate the position of the needle tip within the neuroforaminal space. Motor testing, please. Motor stimulation indicates that the needle tip is appropriately placed and a lesion will be created at 65 degrees for 75 seconds. Lesioning, please. Through the creation and generation of heat, the dorsal root ganglia in the neural foramen is destroyed. This leads to an improvement in radicular symptoms or the pain that may be felt down the patient's leg. This type of therapy leads to a more definitive treatment of leg symptoms when compared to steroid injections. The patient is adequately sedated during the procedure
which allows the procedure to be carried out in a safe and comfortable fashion. The lesion has been generated, the stimulating probe is removed from the needle, and a steroid solution is injected through the needle into the area for post-op relief. The needle is withdrawn from the patient's back and this concludes the procedure.